we're all doing something that's impossible, that hasn't been done before, and that's exciting. At the Creative Destruction Lab, we've worked with companies that are using quantum computers in the D-Wave to design drugs, to optimize wind farms, to optimize return on assets for banks, to optimize mining, to do better chip manufacturing, and actually even to brew better beer. The types of materials that we're simulating with quantum computers today have applications for every single field of information technology. We're using quantum computing at Lockheed Martin to address problems including machine learning, uh, logistics optimization, materials design and discovery. One problem is something called a manufacturing production scheduling problem. Uh, with quantum computing, you just solve it instantaneously, and then people get a decision to implement it. It's optimal. Optimal usually means maximizing the profit and minimizing the cost. And that's the point, because many people saw quantum computing is still quite far away, but it is right now. It's a great time because as a quantum computing theorist, uh, we now have access Access to actual hardware that can run quantum algorithms. The application could significantly improve advanced molecular design to speed up drug discovery for complex neurological disorders such as MS, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and ALS. Our clients are from the bank to the car manufacturer and the cosmetic company. It's actually very effective to use the quantum computing to optimize the product for the customer. I'm using the D-Wave quantum annealer to solve the protein sequence design problem. The hope is that someday a celiac patient could take a pill and then eat whatever he or she wants. We've built a financial services operating system layer on top of uh, D-Wave Quantum Cloud to help uh, financial institutions solve intractable problems. Quantum is the future. It's supremely exciting to be a quantum pioneer.